This is Indira Khan, and you know I got soul. All right, Indira, we just got a taste of your amazing vocals on stage tonight here at SOB Soul Village. So can you talk about where you developed that talent for singing uh, from an early age and how you developed it over your career? Um, well, basically, um, it was just uh, really by accident. Um, singing was mostly a hobby for me when I was younger. I actually... Um, uh, stood in for one of the girls uh, in the group Pretty in Pink. I wasn't actually a member. Is everything okay? I wasn't actually a member. I just um, was standing in, like I said. And from there on, the rest is history. I saw that, you know, I got the response from the crowd and it was exciting and I began my love for singing. And here I am today. Talk about that situation with Pretty in Pink a little bit. Um, you know, how was it being a part of that, and uh, where did it take you eventually? Um, well, it was wonderful. It was a great experience. I learned a lot. Um, you know, it took me to, like I said, you know, where I am today. Um, it was wonderful. You know, it was uh, uh, me being a part of a group, you know, and that, you know, I think everyone should experience that, you know, the, the camaraderie of being a part of a group and people having your back. It's wonderful. It was, it was really great to be in Pretty in Pink. What can I say? I have nothing but good things. Wonderful, fond memories. Okay. And uh, do you prefer being in a group or uh, as a solo artist? Um, I will say this. It's easier to be a solo artist just because, you know, obvious reasons. You only have to deal with yourself mostly. Um, but I do at times miss, you know, somebody having my back and, you know, just that same set of people, you know, and, and, and it's like a family, you know. So... You know, me traveling and working alone versus me traveling and working with my family, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, absolutely, I do miss that. And, you know, sometimes that is a preference. But like I said, it is much easier to be a solo artist. Talk about some of the recent music you've released. A um, couple of singles we featured on the site, Bathe Me and also Lonely. Mm -hmm. um, I guess talk about each of those and what inspired you to write those and create those. Um, well, Bathe Me, um, I wrote, it was, you know, a love song. I might mostly write about things that are going on in my life. I just met someone and, you know, that's how I felt. I felt like I was just intrigued by them. I wanted to be, you know, submerged in who they were and learn more and just excited and, you know, wanted to just be surrounded by that person and, you know, what they were about. And that was my inspiration and hence Bathe Me. And lonely, um, I was actually working in Copenhagen, and I was by myself, and I was missing someone, missing my family, missing my children, <clears throat> pardon me, and I just wrote that song, like, you know, I'd do anything, you know, to be with these people right now. Right now, I'm very lonely, so there came the and, song. And uh, do you feel like it's added pressure to live, to live up to your mother's legacy? Um, yeah, absolutely. At first it was, and... Well, it, it is pressure. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I believe it gets easier to handle. You know, the older I get and the more that I discover who I am as an artist and become strong in that. So, yeah, I do feel the pressure at times, but, you know, the more that I do this, the more it's easier to handle. Right. And you performed one of her songs on stage tonight. So <laughs> I did. Did you have any, any favorites of hers when you were growing up that, you know, did her... I guess, how did her music influence you? Uh, well, it, at first, I, that was my least favorite artist just because I heard her so much around the house, you know, all the time. So I was just like, if I hear that woman sing again, I'm going to pull all my hair out. So um, it wasn't until I got much older and became a mother myself that I began to understand her as an artist and then just appreciate her separate from being my mother, you know, and be able to listen to her you know, with new ears and listen to her lyrics and just really, you know, get into her as an artist and not at, you know, her as my mother singing loudly around the house all the time. And uh, do you feel like you have the upper hand over most artists because of your mother being a legendary Shaka Khan? Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Have you heard these kids today? <laughs> <laughs> these kids today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, absolutely not. No, these... You know, everybody to me, you know, we're, we're, we're all even but yet unique. You know, I don't really do the comparison thing because for me, you know, I, I would stop singing if I started comparing myself to everybody I hear or, you know, these people or whatever. You know, I just try to look at it as, 
they have their thing, I've got my thing, you know, everybody has their thing, you know, but, you know, so I don't really see it as competitive, but at the same time, it's getting better and better and better. And it's just, it's exciting to me to see the evolution of music. So not counting your mother, who were some of your biggest influences growing up? Um, Prince. All day. <laughs> All day. Um, Prince. I love a lot of rock music. I love Foo Fighters. I love, um, uh, who else? Um, I love every kind of music. You know, jazz. I love everything. Um, but my biggest inspiration is Prince, and that was because he was such a versatile artist. Right. You know, he has rock. He has everything. So, Prince. Right. Mm -hmm. So we talked about some of the new music you've put out recently. What's, what can we expect next in terms of an album project? What do you got coming? Well, I'm working on an LP. I, I'm praying that everything will be finished by the summer, so I want to hit you with some stuff this summer. And it's just going to be good music. You know, I, you know, if you can't tell, I hate to be put in a box, you know, but marketing and all that, you know, that's not good for that, right? So I'm going to try <laughs> to, you know, tell you in words what you could be expecting. And I think... Just music with integrity, right. and that's fair, right? That's the politically correct Absolute, answer. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then just, I guess, finally, where you're at as an artist in your career now, what is your biggest goals? Like, what are you looking to accomplish? Um, my biggest goals um, and what I'm looking to accomplish is just to keep doing music. You know, I don't want to be a millionaire. I don't, you know... I'd love to work with Prince. That would be just awesome. That would be like, okay, I can die now, right? <laughs> so, but, you know, I can't really, you know, just to keep doing what I do every day, I have a goal, like finish this song, you know, do this, pay this bill, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so it's a daily, it's a daily struggle and hustle, you know? 